Scientists have been finding exoplanets that can be habitable for decades. There are hundreds of millions out there and more planets are found every day. But at this moment, Earth is the only world in the universe where life could thrive. For decades, scientists have been looking for planets like Earth that could host life elsewhere in our universe. There are a lot of criteria for planets to be considered as habitable. To name a few, planets must be rocky and orbit its star in a Goldilocks zone. The distance where the planet is not too close to its star for water to evaporate like Venus and not too far for water to freeze, similar to Mars. The life as we know of today needs water to survive, so our Earth-like planet must also have liquid water on its surface. The Kepler telescope was built in the same purpose to look for planets in certain patches of the Milky Way galaxy. In its nine years of missions, Kepler observed 530,036 stars and confirmed about 2,660 new exoplanets. These exoplanets are unlike anything we have seen in our solar system before. Most of them are so much bigger than Earth and complete orbit around their parent star in a matter of few days. And some of them are very strange, tidally locked to their star with temperature high enough to melt iron. Other exoplanets with the size of Jupiter orbit not one, but two stars at a time. However, there are some planets orbiting around their star in habitable zones, also called the Goldilocks zone, with the same size as Earth. Although being in the habitable zone does not mean that it can support life, but the presence of water does play a significant role as a foundation of life as we know it. In addition, for any planet to be Earth-like, it needs to have an atmosphere to protect the planet from harmful UV rays of its stars and allow living things to breathe. Now, let's take a look at some Earth-like exoplanets that were discovered recently and have a similar composition to that of our Earth. The first one on our list is K218b. In September 2019, two scientists independently announced that they have found exoplanet with water in it. Situated about 120 light years away from Earth, K218b is about eight times as massive as Earth and three times as big. It orbits a red dwarf star called K218. Red dwarf stars are known as one of the smallest and coolest stars in our universe. It is believed that K218b rotates its star in every 33 days, that means one year on this planet is only 33 days. Observation from Kelper, Hubble, and Spitzer Telescope, scientists confirm that K218b has significant water in its surface or atmosphere. With the massive size, K218b should have thick atmosphere with a significant amount of hydrogen gas. Whether or not K218b can host life is a mystery at the moment, but we hope our new technology will shed some light on this. The next planet on our list is Tree Guardian b. It is a super-Earth exoplanet that orbits a red dwarf star that is about 12.5 light years away from us in the constellation Eris. It orbits its star Tree Garden every 4.9 days, with its orbital distance being 0.04 astronomical units. The star itself is only about 8% the size of our sun, and is really dim. That is why the Tree Garden B is habitable despite being awfully close to its star. This planet is one of the exoplanets that has highest rank in Earth Similarity Index. There is a 60% chance that Tree Garden B will have a temperate surface environment. Scientists believe that the temperature on Tree Garden B could be anywhere between 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Scientists also believe that the planet could have a metallic core, which could mean that it has a magnetosphere, which saves its atmosphere from being stripped away by solar flares. For our next candidate, we need to travel 40 light years to TRAPPIST-1 star system. TRAPPIST-1 is a red dwarf star with the radius slightly larger than Jupiter. On February 2nd, 2017, NASA announced the discovery of seven Earth-sized rocky planets orbiting the star, and each one of these have the potential of having water on their surface. Just a year later, in February 2018, a close study found that these seven planets could have more water than the oceans of Earth, and three of those planets rotate its star in a habitable zone. The Hubble Space Telescope was used to find the TRAPPIST-1b and 1c, and concluded that their atmosphere is thick, with hydrogen gas making most of its atmosphere. Thick atmosphere may mean that the planet could be hot in hell like Venus. However, TRAPPIST-1d is the least massive of them, and likely has compact hydrogen, poor atmosphere like Earth and Venus. It is half the gravity than our planet and gets about 4.3% more sunlight than Earth. It lies on the inner edge of the habitable zone of the TRAPPIST-1 system. This planet could have an ocean or layers of ice. However, new study shows that this planet could be more like Venus. TRAPPIST-1e is another planet on the same system that orbits around the star in the habitable zone and is similar to Earth. It has about the same mass, radius, temperature, and gravity as Earth does. 
Astronomers believe that it has a compact atmosphere and has greater chance of being an ocean planet. First detected by HARPS telescope in 2016, Proxima b is the closest alien planet to our solar system that is about 4.2 light years away from Earth. It lies in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. Proxima b is about 17% more massive than our Earth, making it one of the more Earth-like planets near home. Scientists believe that this planet could be habitable, and future generation spacecrafts will be able to travel to Proxima b in search of life. The star Proxima Centauri is much lighter than our Sun, with 0.13 times the mass of our Sun, and has a surface temperature of 3042 degrees Kelvin. It is around 4.85 billion years old, similar to our Sun. This should give enough time for any life to thrive in the planet system of Proxima. Even though Proxima could have been habitable in the past, the chances of it being habitable now is unfortunately slim, due to the solar winds from its star. Besides, the planet is most likely tidally locked to its planet star, meaning only one side faces its star at all times, while the other side remains frozen cold. Standing on the surface of Proxima Centauri b will be spectacular, as it orbits three stars. Its parent star, Proxima Centauri, another star, Alpha Centauri a, and Alpha Centauri b. There are a lot of mystery that surrounds the Proxima Centauri b, but considering its distance is only 4.2 light years, we may be able to visit the planet in the future and study it in detail. Well, all these planets are similar to Earth, but soon we're going to find out that one of these super-Earth exoplanets could be habitable. This is where the James Webb Telescope comes to the rescue. The James Webb Telescope is a triumph of space science, and might just be the most famous unmanned spacecraft launched after the Sputnik. James Webb will use its infrared camera to study atmosphere of exoplanets, giving us a clear and better information about these planets. We have a whole new video about the James Webb Telescope, which you can watch by clicking this or the link in the description below. This video was made possible by people like you. Thank you for watching the video and viewers like you is what encourages us to make more videos about astronomy. If you found any value in this content, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We have a lot of exciting videos coming in the future, so be sure to hit the bell icon to get updated. See you all in our next video, and until then, goodbye and stay safe.